What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Render of Aviation. Hope you guys are in a fantastic day today. And today we have the April 2022 Orange County John Wayne Santa Ana International Airport update for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. We have an absolutely loaded Orange County John Wayne Santa Ana International Airport update for you guys. And I really hope you guys are excited for it. Absolutely awesome update in store for you guys today. We have a lot of awesome things going on. We have some aircraft changes, some new movements, the general aviation ramp going super strong, and so many awesome things to hop to, into in today's update. I'm not gonna waste any further time because we have a lot to go over in today's airport up there. I really hope you guys are excited for it. We're gonna pan down to the beginning of the terminal as per usual, just in a little bit of a different connotation as the board's been flipped per season. So I hope you guys are excited for it. With all that being said, let's get started. Currently pushing back pretty side lit, but right here we have the Air Canada Airbus A22300. This guy's currently pushing back the non-stop service out to Vancouver today. This is a daily flight, which has been really nice to see, and the Air Canada's been going super strong as of late, so that's been super awesome to stay, see, to say the least, pardon me, sorry. Right here currently loading up, we have this Delta Airlines Airbus A319. This guy's currently loading up with the return service out to Minneapolis, St. Paul today. This has been a solid uh, 13 weekly service, if you wanna call it that. We have uh, daily service and then six weekly with a Saturday missing. So really solid right there for Delta. They're going super strong with that service to say the least. Currently loading up right here, we have this Delta Airlines Airbus A22100. This guy made a nonstop service in from Salt Lake City, Utah, and he'll be proceeding out to Seattle, Washington. We are getting some 223s from Seattle, or I'm sorry, from Salt Lake City still, but I thought I'd put in 221 because Seattle's been consistently three daily uh, Airbus A220s, which has been really cool. So nice uh, variety there for Delta in this whole lineup. Speaking of variety right here, we have this Delta Airlines Boeing 757-200. This guy just got finished pushing back and he has a nonstop service today out to Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport or Central Aviations Airport. Uh, be sure to leave uh, subscribe routes and local van pictures uh, link in the description. Uh, it's been really nice to have those in here, of course, as always. Uh, but really solid for Delta 757. I think it's three daily, so really strong right there. Two or three daily, I should add. Uh, somewhere in there, so looking really good. A very interesting aircraft change right here. Right here we have this American Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8. This guy's making a non-stop service today in from Chicago O'Hare. Um, was really surprised to see this. It's three daily, which is really weird. I'm not sure how this aircraft rotates into Chicago, whether it's from LaGuardia or Miami or whatever the situation may be. But it's quite interesting to say the least and pretty fascinating to me. So very interesting, really cool to map the max here for American. This is likely the first time this ever happened. If not, uh, feel free to correct me, but it's really interesting. I'm wondering if this is ever gonna happen again or if this is a one-off or what's going on, but definitely interesting to say the least. So very interesting flight right there, but pretty cool to say the least. So very interesting, uh, really interesting to me, uh, for sure. Currently loading up right here, gate six, we have this American Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the Reno Air Heritage Paint Scheme. This guy's currently loading up, he'll be pushing back shortly with a non-stop service out to Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. This flight is currently, I think, like five daily, it's something absolutely ridiculous, but American going strong, and Orange County is a great market, so I can't blame them. So really glad to see American going strong there. Absolutely awesome, very, very nice. Currently pulling in the gate seven right here, we have the American Airlines Airbus A321. This is the Transcon version. This is making a non-stop service in from New York, John F. Kennedy, of course. This is a daily service, and we got to see this some standing really well. I believe this started last June or July. I think it was June, so almost a year old already, but it's been a really cool route to have in here, so I've really enjoyed it, so really nice. Uh, just departed from this gate and currently getting ready to take off on runway 20 right, I believe it is. It may be left, but regardless, we have this American Airlines Airbus A319 with the fence tips. This guy is currently waiting to get over to the runway. He has non-stop service back out the Phoenix Sky Harbor for us today. Another route that's been going really strong. There's some 738s and 320s on that as well. So definitely a really substantial service for American right there to Phoenix. Alrighty, transitioning into the United Airlines section right here, we have this United Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Continental Globe colors. This guy's currently getting ready to push back shortly. He has a non-stop service today out to Honolulu, Hawaii, after making non-stop service today in from Newark EWR. It's been really cool to have Honolulu going super strong as of late. Uh, really glad to see that sustaining. So maybe that's the new permanent right there and Newark also doing really well, which has been nice to see. So glad to see all those routes doing really good. Speaking of routes doing really good right here, we have the United Airlines Boeing 737-800. This guy's making non-stop service today in from Chicago O'Hare, and he'll have proceeding service out to San Fr or actually let's go with Houston or Continental for him. I'm pretty sure both routes have been doing really well, so I've been really glad to see that as of late. 
And lastly, for United, we have this United Airlines Airbus A320 in the Continental Globe colors. Really hopeful for an Evo Blue release, whether that's uh, Gemini Jets or Panda Models or whoever that may be at some point. That would be really cool. Nevertheless, this guy's loading up with a non-stop service today out to San Francisco, California. After coming in from Denver, Colorado, uh, two other routes that have multiple mainline frequencies and again, really sustaining well for um, Orange County. Next up, currently loading up, I believe this is gate 13. We have the Alaska Airlines uh, Ember at ERJ-175 on the behalf of Horizon Air, I believe. I'm pretty sure this guy's currently making a flight in from Seattle Everett. He'll have continuing service out to San Francisco, California. Again, two routes that are really unique to Alaska at an airport like this, and it's been really cool to have them in here. So really nice right there for sure. Re very, very nice. Current loading up right here, we have the Alaska Airlines Airbus A320. This guy's currently loading up with a non-stop service today out to Portland, Oregon after coming, I'm sorry, this is the uh, Seattle flight. We'll go with Seattle for this guy after coming in from uh, Portland. We'll just do the double Ramy. So uh, multiple mainline flights, 738s and uh, A320s. So been really cool to see that. And then currently loading up right here, we have the Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-800. This guy's making a non-stop service today in from, uh, let's go with Seattle for him and he'll continue out to Portland. So. Really cool to see all the variety here that we get for Alaska on their mainline flights to say the least. Since we're actually here, let's get him so I don't forget. Right there we have the WestJet Airlines Boeing 737-700. He's currently going over there to occupy the Air Canada gate. He just made a non-stop flight in from Calgary. They'll continue on to Vancouver. Both flights are two weekly, so you'll see WestJet here four times a week, which is really cool on their double flights. So glad to see them going strong with those services. Next up, we have the Spirit Airlines Airbus A320neo. This guy's coming in from Oakland, California, and he'll have proceeding service out to Las Vegas. We also have a really good service out to Sacramento as well, so glad to see Spirit doing really well as well. Next up, we have this Frontier Airbus A320 currently pulling into the grate. This is Griswold the Bear. This guy's making a non-stop service in from Las Vegas, Nevada, and it'll continue out to Denver. Again, multiple daily flights on Denver and one daily on uh, Las Vegas, so quite a unique frequency there for an airline like Frontier. Right here, we have the Allegiant Air Airbus A319. This guy's currently loading up with a non-stop service today out to, uh, let's, go with, um, let's go with Las Vegas since that is an A319. He'll continue out to, uh, there wasn't a ton of A319s, it was mainly 320s, should have got the 319, or 320 in here. Uh, I think Medford maybe was a 319, if not, I'm sorry, but we'll say Medford, Oregon for him today, very nice. Uh, get ready to see some Southwest, we have quite a few. Beginning with the 737-700 and the Hart Livery with Split Scimitars, this guy's loading up with a non-stop service out to Nashville after coming in from Dallas Love Field, very nice. Then we have the 737-800 by Gemini Jets in the Heart 1 livery. I need the dust that went off. That one definitely needs it. There are quite a few that need it, so RIP. This guy's making a non-stop flight today in from, mm, let's go with Phoenix for him. He'll continue out to, um, I believe we have San Jose. If not, I'm sorry, but we'll say San Jose. And then we have the 737 Max 8 right here. This guy's coming in from, um, let's go with Chicago Midway, and he'll continue out to Denver, Colorado for us today. Um, we'll kind of deviate since we're here and might as well get the cargos. Uh, what beautiful lighting this is, man. Looking really nice. We begin right here with the FedEx Express Airbus A300 Freighter. This guy's making a non-stop service today in from Memphis and he'll continue on on the short flight out to Los Angeles, which is quite unique to say the least in all aspects. And we have the UPS Boeing 757-200. This guy is currently uh, hanging out after coming in from Portland uh, earlier. He'll continue out to Louisville at a later time here in the next few days at some point. So really nice right there. Okay, let's come around. Uh, sorry in advance. There we go. Alrighty. Uh, currently just got done pushing back as the uh, aircraft currently comes into the gate. We have the South Star Airlines Boeing 737-800. This guy is currently pushing back as a non-stop service today out to, let's go with uh, Las Vegas for him. He came in earlier from uh, Nashville. That's mainly a 700, but might as well change it up a little bit. And currently pulling into the gate, we have the absolutely lovely South Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the California One paint scheme. This guy's making a non-stop flight today in from, um, I think we have San Diego, if not, I'm sorry, but I want to keep it in California. So we'll go with San Diego for him. And he's going to continue on to, we'll have to send it out of uh, California. We'll go with the um, awesome city in... Um, don't think we have Houston Hobby. Sorry guys, I should have. Uh, we'll go with Porta Vallarta. I think we still have those going strong right now. So uh, I'm gonna slightly move this so you guys can get a good look at um, these absolutely beautiful GA planes. Hopefully I didn't knock over too many gates, but really awesome GA section. But first and foremost, before we begin with that, right here we have the uh, Challenger 300. 
Uh, this guy's currently pulling in uh, lots of awesome GA planes, currently going strong, so get ready for this. Uh, this guy's currently making non-stop service in from Scottsdale, Arizona, which is a really popular flight for aircraft out of Orange County, which is really cool. And a lot of proceeding service out to El Paso. And here is the GA ramp looking really good. We do have some new faces here for sure, so let's take a look at those. Uh, first new one right here is this Cessna 172 in this uh, brownish livery. This guy's currently making nonstop service today in from Riverside, California, which is a small airport in the LA area, which is really cool. Feel free to look it up. It looks like a really cool airport. And he's got a proceeding service out to Santa Barbara, California, which uh, I do have some fans from Santa Barbara, so uh, shout out to you guys, all, all you guys. There's quite a few, so kind of ironic, but very cool. Right here, we have the Cirrus SR20. Uh, this guy's currently making a nonstop flight today in from San Diego, Montgomery Field, another really cool general aviation airport. He's going to have proceeding service today out to Montreal, California, which is uh, closer to San Francisco. So definitely cool to get these prop aircraft in the region. It's very, very cool. Um, now we're really looking like a good GA section with these best jets here. I personally think these turn out really well. Let me know what you guys think, but I'm really happy with them for sure. So we'll be going on the left with this Learjet 75 and the really cool greenish livery. This is a private aircraft. He's currently coming in from Las Vegas. The lot of proceeding service out to uh, Bosman, Montana for us today. And then on the right, we have a purple Thenom 300. This guy's making a nonstop flight today in from, um, uh, Flagstaff, Arizona, another cool place for sure. And he's gonna have a proceeding service today over to, um, let's go with Seattle Boeing Field. I saw that one surprisingly several times. So let's go with Seattle Boeing Field. That would be cool for that aircraft right there. I'll just come around since it looks cool. Um, so here's the uh, final section. Of course, this is where I have my um, bigger uh, aircraft and of course JSX. And there's the uh, little FBO building. I hope they have one done maybe at some point 3D printed or something, but we'll see. Okay, currently getting tugged into the gate. He was over there parked on the other side of those biz jets, uh, currently waiting for his next flight. You have this Exojet, uh, Cessna Citation X. This guy made a long flight in from Fort Lauderdale earlier today, and he's gonna be having a pretty slow flight out to Sacramento, so just a little quick hop for him today. So, really happy with that. Last but certainly not least, we have this beautiful JSX Embry Ear J-135. This guy's making a non-stop service today in from Reno, Tahoe. He's gonna have the final service of the airport update over to, um, I don't think we have Concord, I would mention that one. So let's go with, uh, darn it, what was another one? Um, we'll just say Concord if that one's not active right now. I apologize, but I'm pretty sure we have it, so. Yeah, that will do for today's Orange County John Wayne Santa Ana International Airport update. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, really crisp lighting as well right now, looking really good. Uh, this airport's been really fun to do. I've been doing it for over two years now, which is absolutely crazy. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been a very fun airport. Um, got to watch it grow sincerely. And we do have some new routes coming as well for Allegiant with service to Des Moines and I believe Idaho Falls coming up shortly. So that'll be really exciting. We'll also have American's new service to Austin beginning in June, which will be an Airbus A319 with Sharklets, which will be a really cool plane to finally get back after we haven't had it probably in a long time. I think we may have had it last fall at some point from Chicago, but that's been about it. We've had it every now and then, but not every day, so I'm really excited to get that on a regular basis from uh, Americans, so that'll be really cool. Um, otherwise, I don't think there's a ton going on. I think it's just really busy. That's the main thing, is while it's just been consistent, it's been really busy, and I hope you guys are enjoying the GA ramp. I'm really happy with how that's progressed. Expect more aircraft to come there as well. Um, obviously, this is a tremendous upgrade from what we've had previously, so expect even more. And the good news is, hopefully, I'll be able to get some additional Hawker aircraft, King Airs, you know, um, I would really like to get some globals, which would be really cool for an airport like this, along with maybe some more challengers and different things. Uh, so you'll be seeing a wide variety of general aviation aircraft as Orange County is one of the busiest general aviation aircraft in the United, or airports in the United States, and that's definitely gonna be encompassed here as well. That's also not take away from how well our civil presence has been going as well. I mean, you guys can just take a look at the lineup. It speaks for itself. It's all mainline aircraft. Um, obviously, there's one 175 there, but outside of that, it is all mainline airplanes, which is really cool. So really glad to see so many seats at this airport, and I'm very excited to see what the future holds for Orange County John Wayne Santa Ana International Airport. So again, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, lots of things to come, so be sure to stay on the lookout for it. Uh, lots of exciting announcements and different things. Lots of videos been producing as many as I can, so uh, be sure to check them out if you guys want to. And again, there's a lot of awesome things coming up. Not going to want to miss it, so be sure to stay on the lookout for it. Uh, really excited for what's coming. I hope you guys are as well. And yeah, uh, excited for hopefully more new uh, movements at Orange County. Sorry, it wasn't literally a dramatic update, but there were some nice things here, so I hope you guys enjoyed it nevertheless. 
Alrighty guys, that will do for today's Orange County John Wayne Santa Ana International Airport update. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Red Reserve Aviation. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe, trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Red Reserve Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Red Reserve Aviation is signing off.